A soft, unmistakable reddish glow pulses steadily from the shoulder of the constellation Orion, glowing faintly yet unmistakably against the backdrop of the night sky. This glow belongs to one of the most famous stars in the heavens, Betelgeuse. Visible even to the naked eye, Betelgeuse has long served as a familiar and constant celestial beacon, a luminous titan nearing the end of its extraordinary life. For centuries, this massive red supergiant has been a symbol of both the beauty and impermanence of the cosmos. Yet recently, something extraordinary and utterly unexpected occurred, shaking astronomers and astrophysicists around the world. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most powerful and advanced observatory ever launched, recorded a stunning and startling phenomenon involving Betelgeuse. Its brightness suddenly surged, increasing by an astonishing 250%. A change so dramatic, so swift, and so profound that it left the scientific community both exhilarated and cautious. What could possibly cause a star already 700 times larger than our sun to blaze so intensely, so suddenly? What forces, deep within its turbulent core, could awaken this celestial giant seemingly from slumber? Betelgeuse is no ordinary star. As a red supergiant, it exists in the twilight of its stellar life cycle. Located approximately 642 light-years from Earth, Betelgeuse stands among the largest and brightest stars in the Milky Way. Its immense size defies comprehension. If placed at the center of our solar system, its outer surface would engulf the orbit of Mars. For centuries, its reddish-orange glow has been a familiar and awe-inspiring sight in the night sky, a symbol of immense power yet inevitable impermanence. Its brilliance is a reminder that even the mightiest stars must eventually bow to the relentless pull of gravity and succumb to the laws of physics. Red supergiants are inherently unstable. Their cores consume nuclear fuel at a frantic pace, fusing heavier and heavier elements in a desperate battle against gravitational collapse. Unlike our relatively stable Sun, Betelgeuse's enormous mass and advanced evolutionary stage create a roiling internal environment, marked by constant turmoil. Its outer layers swell and contract, while brightness fluctuates erratically over unpredictable cycles. For decades, astronomers have observed this rhythmic variability, interpreting it as a natural part of the star's aging process. But this recent surge in brightness is different. The change was far too rapid, too intense, and too mysterious to be explained by normal cycles. Using its ultra-sensitive infrared instruments capable of peering through cosmic dust and gas, the James Webb Space Telescope studied Betelgeuse in unprecedented detail. What it revealed was astonishing, a rapid, unexplained increase in luminosity unfolding over just a few weeks. The question on every astronomer's mind is simple yet profound, why now? Why such a sudden and dramatic shift? One widely discussed possibility is that Betelgeuse is entering its final death throes, moving into the most volatile phase of its existence. Deep within the star's core, nuclear fusion reactions involving carbon, oxygen, and neon grow increasingly unstable. This instability signals the gradual approach of iron fusion, the star's final act before gravitational forces overwhelm its core. Once iron begins to fuse, a process that requires more energy than it produces, the star can no longer sustain equilibrium. The delicate balance between outward radiation pressure and inward gravitational collapse fails. Gravity wins and the core collapses catastrophically, triggering a titanic supernova explosion. A supernova of Betelgeuse's magnitude would briefly outshine entire galaxies. The explosion would scatter stellar material across vast distances, leaving behind a dense neutron star or a black hole. If it were to occur, the spectacle would be breathtaking, visible even from Earth's surface in broad daylight. Its light could rival or exceed the brightness of the full moon, dominating the night sky for weeks or months. Despite this cataclysm, the star is distant enough, 
over 600 light years, that Earth itself would remain safe from harmful radiation. Humanity would be mere spectators to a cosmic fireworks display, witnessing the closest supernova in recorded history, an event so rare it might occur only once in a thousand lifetimes. Yet, scientists caution that this dramatic brightening may not be a harbinger of imminent doom. Alternative explanations involve massive convective cells within Betelgeuse, enormous bubbles of hot plasma rising from deep inside its turbulent interior to the surface. These cells, driven by chaotic flows and magnetic turbulence, can temporarily eject vast amounts of stellar material, creating localized eruptions and brightening events visible across light years. In this view, Betelgeuse is not dying but experiencing a stellar storm, a temporary flare of energy far beyond anything witnessed on Earth. Betelgeuse's recent history adds further complexity. In late 2019 and early 2020, the star underwent an unprecedented dimming event, baffling astronomers worldwide. Some theorized that a colossal cloud of dust expelled by the star had temporarily obscured its light. This massive veil may have dissipated, allowing the star's luminosity to rebound, and perhaps even set the stage for the sudden surge observed today. Adding another layer to the mystery is Betelgeuse's powerful magnetic field, an invisible yet potent force threading through the star like ancient lightning veins. Unlike the Sun's relatively mild cycles, Betelgeuse's magnetic field is turbulent, dynamic, and unpredictable. Magnetic fields can twist, snap, and redirect plasma flows, igniting violent storms across the star's surface. Recent models suggest a deep-seated magnetic dynamo pulsing like a cosmic heartbeat. If such a dynamo were to realign or flare, it could release enormous energy, rippling outward through the outer layers, producing sudden brightening visible across the galaxy. Could this 250% surge in brightness be such a magnetic upheaval? A cosmic scream from a star on the edge of transformation? Or is it truly a final act, the last flicker before the ultimate collapse? Only time will tell. The James Webb Space Telescope continues to monitor Betelgeuse, its instruments collecting every photon, every flicker of light, every pulse from the star's fiery furnace. With each observation, humanity peels back another layer of the star's secrets, yet each answer brings new mysteries in its wake. If Betelgeuse does explode, the spectacle will be unparalleled. A brilliant, glowing beacon in the sky, casting shadows at night and bathing Earth in the light of a dying star. But even then, the event would be safe, leaving humanity to marvel at a cosmic drama billions of kilometers away. And yet, there remains the tantalizing possibility that this is not the end. Could Betelgeuse's recent flare mark a transformation instead of a death? A rebirth, a shift into a new phase of existence, a cosmic phoenix rising from its own plasma and fire? The truth is, we simply do not know. Betelgeuse remains a fiery enigma, a riddle suspended in the vast silence of space. Its sudden brightening is a reminder of both the power and fragility of the cosmos, and humanity waits, captivated, humbled, ready to witness the final act, or perhaps the next act, of a celestial giant. For now, Betelgeuse shines on, a beacon of mystery, a titan teetering on the edge of its destiny, as we watch and wonder.